There are already fucking layers of fearing me. Perception is reality. Aha! <laughs> Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Welcome Thanks, to it's Sun really Nestle. difficult for me. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. Can I have a gigantic chessboard? Yeah. Yippee! Can I? Yep, I can grab that. I'm gonna need this. Eh. Eh. Alright, we're good. Confirmed. You can move freely, interact with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note what that I fuck? am the standard orientation protocol, and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. I do not care. <laughs> Christ. This game is gonna fuck with me. Come on. Yeah. We're good at things. Let's see if we can uh, keep the pace up, though. I feel like at some point I'm just gonna lose the plot and die. Perspective is... everything. Yes. During eyelids, you will lose the ability to <laughs> awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. I don't usually Evidence. do that though. I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. I sure didn't. Please complete the remaining orientation activities. 115, 12... 85. Apparently in dreams you can't read like clocks and stuff, but I've never had issues with that. There we go. Very small. Yeah. What's this? Oh, the dream's turning sour. It's starting to look like fucking high school. Warning. You have deviated from the orientation pathway. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron. A variable degree of force can and will be authorized huh? to ensure patient safety. This is my dream, you can't do that. Orientation pathway. We've got a wide selection here. We have red soda, green soda, diet soda, random soda, baking soda, mini soda, and water soda. Please use other door. <clears throat> Okay, so we can't bring this through. Perfect. Wonderful. Oh, oh, oh. That took me way too fucking long to realize. Finds from one lost night of sleep to four. Be smart. Thank you for not objecting. Wait a minute, that's actual goddamn torture. Things are getting weirder. What? Oh, what? Okay, I'm moving on. <laughs> I need to make this one big enough to get both of them, huh? Bruh. Come on. Ah! Okay, that works better. Th there's a fucking... What? Oh, I'm free, I made it! Into the rest of my dreams. The true exit. Whoa! Stop. Shut up. I'm not awake. There's no way I'm awake. First of all, this room is stupid. There's not even a fucking bathroom. Sweet G? Sweet A? Were we in sweet D? No, F. Would've been funny if we were in sweet D for sweet dreams. <laughs> of course we're still in the dream. Look, it's dream soda. I got my water. I got a fucking achievement for that. Put a soda can in the wrong place instead of the recycling. <laughs> Uh-oh. I fucking broke the vending machine. I apologize, God. What about this? Some doors are best left closed. That's not ominous. No. Sweet five goes to, um, this? Of course! Of course! Why, why didn't I predict that? What the fuck? Okay. I want to- that's painted on, isn't it? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that that kind of scared me, actually. I didn't expect it to be jutting out like that. I fucking hate optical illusions. They make me want to cry. Oh, I mean, look at this. What the hell, dude? My brain is broken. Is this room normal? Holy shit, thank God. It is a normal fucking room. Does this one actually work? No. Exit temporarily moved. To where? Fine, then I will temporarily move you. There we go. Woo! Banana yellow, symmetrical layout. All this shit sounds bad. 
Just saying. Hello. Oh My God, name that was is loud. Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk to you about being special. I don't like being special. So special, in fact, that we have no idea where you are. But not to worry. We're working on it. That's ominous. Nope, nope, keep moving. We don't want them to find me. I'm escaping dream to be in more dream. We've got a projector, projector screen. What the f- I'm questioning my life choices. Hi, fucking weirdo. Eh. 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 Okay, we're good. Yeah. Oh. Yippee! I'm an escape artist. You can't get me. Um. Fucking duct tape. It's just duct tape. It's duct tape and wishes and hopes and dreams are what's keeping things up here. All right, how are you gonna threaten me this time? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. We still don't know, mm. but. Please keep moving forward, and hopefully you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. No, I actually, I don't appreciate it one bit. Now we can get our, is this what a rook looks like? I don't know shit about chess. Oh my god, it's this guy. Come with me, little guy. We're in this together. Oh, well, I guess we're not in this together, because I have to leave you behind. I'm sorry! Is this where I first escaped? It is, I can still see my exit sign. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and we still can't find you. But you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that should lead you to them. Will all of this work? Absolutely. I don't know about that one, buddy. Ooh, this is pretty. Very pink. I'm partial to pink. I'm guessing we want to go to the moon. That's really cute! Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant, as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. For example, if you see your parents, please <laughs> them face as hard as you can and immediately run away. Yeah, you know that's a normal reaction to parents, I would say. When the moon eats your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. What the fuck? There's a place to go. Alright, bye fuckers. Why is it loading like that? Fuck! Not again! Can I redeem myself? I'm still gonna recycle it. Environment saved! Place a soda can in a recycling bin. Oh, the mini soda is tiny, that's why! God, I'm such a moron. Ooh, this is new. This is an automated message for all patients who attempted to use an alternate pathway to access the next phase of Somnasculpt therapy, but who have become trapped in a dream state paradox instead. Your decisions imply a failure of orientation, which reflects negatively on the standard orientation protocol. You will rectify this failure immediately. I mean, I'll try, but, you know. Perception is reality. Your friendly doctor. P.S. We'll get through this. Oh, Glenn. Come back with me, son. Yay. It's, it's half a guy. We've got a hole. Uh, we've got a hole? Hmm. Professional tip, the average adult can only withstand three to five dreams per night. Stand? Once this threshold is eclipsed by entering more dreams, your mind will suffer an explosive mental overload, reorienting you for the emergency exit protocol. Please subject yourself to explosive mental overload. That sounds a lot like, please go die. What? Hmm. Fucking weird. Alright, let's keep going. <sighs> Okay, these seem like normal dice. Oh. You know, sometimes I just shouldn't say things, you know what I mean? Like, what the f fuck is even happening right now? 
Good riddance, this goddamn room. What the fuck? Please note that a reluctance to volunteer for the risks associated with explosive mental overload implies a misunderstanding of all other solutions, all of which are far more traumatic and likelier to result in catastrophe. I'm a I catastrophic human being. I suboptimal suggestions. Please exit this dream as soon as possible. My whole life is a lie. I strongly suggest that I s stop overthinking it. I'm leaving. All right, what's wrong with you? <gasps> oh, I just got fucking launched. Hey. Oh, stairs. Let me guess, this one turns into stairs. <laughs> okay. All right, loading screen, fuck with me too. I fucking hate that. I actually hate that. It gave me a visceral reaction of dislike. Shut up! Hi. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And despite touring the Waterfall Serenity Zone in the previous section you've just completed, you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. Oh, always, Glenn. Why do I feel like everything is going Whoa. wrong? Even when the sun is shining. Because I have depression! Sometimes shit is just bad. You may be a dream scientist, but you're obviously no psychologist. Uh-oh. Trying to psych me out? We're going to the nightmares! Oh. No true exits. And no ways to retreat. Let's go! Ooh, this is different. This reminds me of my old job at McDonald's. Uh, complete with the fucking murder scene. <laughs> oh, good, good times. Good times. I'm out of here. Murder, murder, murder! Murder, murder, murder! And beans. You know, if I were a serial killer, I think that would be my itinerary too. So where am I meant to be going, exactly? To be murdered, 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 and eat beans? Oh, moving on. What does this say about my subconscious? You know, have I witnessed a murder? Like, is, is this something that, you know, I've had to worry about in my, in my life, and that's why I'm dreaming about it? Oh. More murder and beans. That's bad. That's real bad. I need a way to get across there. Can I just jump it? I doubt it. Whee! Oh. Oh, there's stuff. I can't see this shit. I can't see shit at all. Slam them door shut. I dare you. <laughs> Bitch. All right, Glenn, what do you have to say? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk more about the feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt I mentioned before. I don't really care about you these things right now. Way because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you. The kind you know everyone else is enjoying. Mm. And that's exactly why we're here to help. Look, maybe average Joe player character is that way, but I know people do not live perfectly happy lives. Even the ones who seem like they are. They just have stuff that visibly offsets the shit. <gasps> Gotta love that for you. Mayonnaise. Mmm. -hmm. Yum. I gotta get out of here. My feelings of inadequacy are because I'm a serial killer, obviously. Goodbye! Goodbye! Oh, there's stairs. Br is it normal for me to not be able to fucking see anything? I'm guessing it has to do with the perspective stuff. Warning. You were advised to subject yourself to explosive mental overload by descending into additional dreams, but have now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting yourself even further. Yeah, I'm kind of you dumb. You are responsible for failing to make this crucial distinction. Love making bad decisions? For the benefit of only myself and nobody else. Oh, this is gonna suck. It's a maze of boxes. Oh my god. Okay. Thank you, exit sign. You did your very best for me. Oh, my favorite. I drank it in a fucking millisecond. I can't take you with me, fuck. Please let me take you with me. It's a fucking joke, is it? Knife. Did you know that unintentional multi-dream layering occurs in less than 1% of patients? 
It's this correlates strongly with the 99% of patients who are able to follow simple instructions from the standard orientation protocol. <gasps> that was a bad overreaction. The knife just left the fucking game. It logged out. No dumping. Like, no shitting? The generator. Oh. This place is big. Somebody was murdered in this very nice place. Actually, it was just paint the whole time. Gotcha! Enjoy avocados. I actually fucking won't. Shut up! One was bad enough. Stop. Stop. I fucking hate being awake. Purple! Huh? <laughs> I'll just use him to get over! Yeah, bitch! Fuck you! Come on. Ooh. Attention. Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. Significant memory loss, both quantitative and qualitative. Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. Unrealistic beliefs oh, about the lengths of hallways. And other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. This is gonna suck. Let me in! Oh, <laughs> so close. Eh, yes. Why is there a smiley face? As my cursor. Oh. <laughs> yes! Obviously I need to get this off of here. But I, I don't know how. Can they knock each other out of the way? Oh, they can. Oh, you were so close! Get off! Okay. I might have fucked myself here. There we go. I need through, please! Where do they go? Oh me no me no me no. That worked. You annoy me. Oh, <sighs> that was far simpler than you know what? I feel like a dumbass. Warning. Dr. Pierce is frantically submitting numerous spelling and grammar mistakes into the standard orientation protocol <laughs> in a desperate attempt to counsel you. <laughs> I have no subroutine to correct these errors, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. You will not receive these messages. They would not make sense regardless. I mean, I still- I kind of want those messages though. They sound kind of sick. Also, why is there a chair just sitting here, staring into a corner? Somnusculpt. Celery. Gallery, not celery. Um, that way I can just fucking climb up. This is the unga bunga way to do it. That's I don't know if there was a puzzle to solve there, but I did not solve it the correct way. But it's fine. Brain cells are good and working correctly. Attention, Doctor Pierce continues to input significant errors. I will interpret his fuck? basic ideas. Hello, my introductions are redundant. I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. VR has never been a mistake. <laughs> I can help you, but I also do not know how. Transmission ends. I just got another soda machine from the soda machine. Hello, name is my Pierce Dr. Glenn. Uh -oh. To the Somnusculpt Welcome Experience, team of That's your fucked. care leader, patient years 10 development. Conditions struggle you whatever with? Professional invention. Age science with cutting, a tomorrow can bright. And, and buts, buts no, no ifs, ifs or, or. luck good. good. <laughs> no, don't, no, that, no, don't do that, that's horrible. Every single loading screen is fucked. Oh. Things are different. I'm in Sweet D! I had a dream years ago. That was the only dream I've ever had. And ever since, I've wanted to recreate that dream. Because I am otherwise dreamless. That is the reason for Somnusculpts today. Hey Pierce, you got something a little more, uh, comprehensible? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. This is a notification that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. Real- 
Okay, let's do it. This is a pretty cute area, if I do say so myself, and I do. Who keeps putting their fucking garbage on top of the garbage can? Are you kidding me? It's literally right here. Oh, it's tiny. Okay, we just need to make that... It, so this is much bigger. So that we are... Yeah! Sometimes my brain do thinking good. The music just got a little fucked. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. Everything should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. I don't if believe this is you. If the case, you may be receiving this message in error. That's also not unsettling, it's just unexplainable. Actually, it is explainable. It's the wind, duh. And we're back. Get fucked! Like, maybe I need to blow up in a window or something? But... Oh! What the fuck? Can it blow the windows open? Uh, I don't know! Let me get in! Let me in! Oh! We made it! But I'm super tiny. I needed to be. So I could get in here. Obviously, I knew this from the start. Hello! Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational quote by me. The worst thing you can do is oh, focus oh on my negativity. God. It won't spare you from the cage of death, the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever held dear. Okay, and? Whatever you do, don't focus on that. Thanks, Glenn. I really appreciate it. Okay, can I make the jump? I don't think I have to jump off of this board specifically, but I wanna. Yay! Ooh. Oh. Why do I need this? Oh, oh, oh. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. I'm an idiot. Doors are two way. We go here. Yes. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And I'd like to thank you for triggering every single one of our 823 emergency protocols. You're welcome. I love this testing things. This will assist greatly in improving the system for future patients. Congratulations. Get bigger and better. Cool. And then we want to get the tiny one in there. Yeah. Here we are. I'm leaving. Hasta la vista, baby. Emergency exit protocol initiated. Please prepare to conclude your Somnasculpt experience in 10, 9, 8, error. Uh-oh. Error logged by. Orientation protocol. Stand by for analysis. Well, shit. Can't get rid of me yet. Error analysis complete. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. This is inconceivable, as Somnasculpt oh, therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. You're keeping me in here because you weren't effective enough? Hypothesis. Patient was improperly oriented. Conclusion. Impossible. Reformulating. This is why you don't let AI do things. Improved hypothesis. Patient requires additional Somnasculpt therapy. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Emergency exit protocol has been emergency destroyed. Instruction, continue with Somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. Well, fuck. We must break the cycle. Excuse the fuck out of me. No, I won't feel better if you don't let me fucking live my life. Is there no achievement attached to uh, jumping on the bed? It's getting faster every time! Oh. Whoa. <gasps> what? Stop. Stop it. Stop it with this. I can't, I can't do this. Oh. No, shut the fuck up! I'm getting somewhere. Stop! Mm-hmm. Mm. Yes. Mm. Fun game. Fun thing happening in game. Let me out! Let me out! Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. 
Thank you for completing the Somnisculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. Briefly, huh? We got a rookie over here. This is actually a pawn! Can I get my soda? Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective, of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire, trial-by-fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. Actual stairs! Oh. Okay, thanks, game. <sighs> Finally, while we respect the unique progress of every patient, you must Fuck. understand that it is possible <laughs> to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms. Oh, oh no. Shut up. What the f- Please listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock, which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream. Ah! Oh god, that fucks with me every single time. Now this is liminal. Yo, fuck you! Fuck you, actually. Holy shit. Biddy bidding. Biddy bidding. That's not okay. This is highly I unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonasculpt Diagnostic Framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state state states. I'm ruining everything. Oh. I really hope that was supposed to happen because if it wasn't, I'm probably screwed. <laughs> because this game is how it is, I can't actually tell if this was supposed to happen or not. Like, I have no idea. Whoa. Oh, here we are. I'm escaping. I'm free. Mm. Please paradox from creating any refrains. Uh -oh. Explosive dream overload. Okay, oh, result. shit. Please paradox overload. Please overload for dream explosion. S can illusion dream overcall frame. We are being blinded now. This is different from the void in the other void, I'm assuming. Yes. We are in white space. <laughs> Not an exit. What is it then? Let's keep going. Whee! Let's keep going. Oh. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And many years ago, I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing. Where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. Truth is relative, White space. fuckers. Is that the point you're trying to make? Frosty effect. We're getting snow. Okay, fine, I guess we're getting rain. Story of my fucking life. The first bit. Oh! I looked away for one second to drink water and this happens. Oh. <laughs> Let me reach the door. Oh. Whee! But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Fuck? Because with a lifetime of Take life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. You grew up, I guess. I see. Perception is reality. These are stairs. Oh. These are the stairs that I want them to be. Lucky me. Like. Oh. Well, that makes sense. You're well beyond dreaming now, and further out than anyone has ever come back from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. No, trust After me. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Isn't that why you came here? I came here to have fun. I sure hope they don't expect me to play chess. Uh, 
Are they only solid when there's a piece on them? Bink. Bonk. No! I'm a fool. A moron. A troglodyte. An idiota. We're making it in, boys. Just making sure. <laughs> I can. Oh! Okay. Thanks for making this possible. Some fucking weird thing. Oh, mate. I love chess. I'm so good at chess. I play 5D chess all the time. Holy shit. Things happen. Whee! Wake me up! What time is it? I've been in here since ages. Make it make sense! It's 8 a.m. It loaded normally! Wow. Pink. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. Uh. You see, everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. Mm. Okay. More often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. That can indeed happen. And so, we do the same things again, and again, and again. Do you know the definition of insanity? And then, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. I'm reversing it. I'm coming back. And you will always have problems. Thanks, Dr. Pierce. Today, you have the chance to see things differently. Even though it meant facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first, you thought outside the box, and you overcame them. That is very true. Because you saw things from every angle, you understood them for what they really were. Because you kept moving forward, no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed, or how unexpected it became, you found your way. Still fucking creepy. In a few minutes, you'll be back in the real world. And some part of you will say that none of this was real. Oh. So, how could it have really meant anything? But... Just like the video game perspective itself, never it real. Could have been as real as you believed it to be. And that's what immersion All is like. All you've got to do is wake up. That was a fun little experience. I like that a lot. I didn't know if I was gonna do very well, considering I'm not really much of a puzzle game person. Mostly because I suck at puzzles.